Hey there guys, it's Zach here from Inbeta, and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 Mobile. This is a new update for Windows Phone devices that's packing a number of new features and enhancements over the last major version of Windows Phone, that was Windows Phone 8.1, released back in April of 2014. Yes, it's been that long since Microsoft released a major version of Windows Phone to Windows Phone users. So let's just take a look at everything that's new with this update, and where else better to start than the start screen, the forefront, and the home to Windows Phone. So as you may have noticed, the background is now behind the tiles and the tiles are slightly transparent. This of course is customizable via the new, the new settings app in Windows 10 Mobile, as you can see here. It's now categorized finally, so you can just quickly jump to an area within the settings app with ease. So for, for example, for us, we're going to personalize, so just tap on there. And of course you get your personalization options for start, colors, sound, and lock screen. So if we're gonna be customizing the start screen, let's go into the start area here. You get a nice preview thumbnail of your start screen and down here you get some options. So Windows Phone 8.1 users who prefer to have their background within the tiles, just enable this option here and you'll notice that the background is now back within the tiles much like on Windows Phone 8.1. But for Windows 10 mobile users, you're probably going to want to have the background behind the tiles as I think it looks pretty nice and I'm sure you do as well. Now there's a few options you can do with the transparent tiles. You can make them not transparent, so you can just make them a complete solid color, much like you see here. Or you can make them go away completely, like this. And what this does is enable interesting start screens. You can design your start screen in very interesting ways by turning off the trans or turning on the transparency to 100%. So that's very interesting there. Let's turn it back onto 70 though, as I think that's kind of the nice balance between the both, between the two. If we jump into colors here, there are now a number of new colors to choose from, lots and lots of colors. And of course, you've also got your light and dark themes, which do exactly what they say on the tin, much like on Windows Phone 8.1, they enable you know, lights and dark modes and they make your, you know, your design light or dark so the notification center here the messaging app i guess we can take a look at yes there it is all light and dark modes in fact talking about the note the messaging app let's take a look at the messaging app now so let's go back into dark mode here and jump back into that messaging app the messaging app is entirely new it's been built for uh, built from the ground up and is now incorporating skype conversations as well as sms conversations so for example as we can see up here i have a conversation going on between kathleen and i we're talking about things via my cellular connection up here it says gif gaff which is my carrier but i can switch between my carrier and in fact skype so if i click on skype here i am now sending a skype message via the same app and of course i can send nice emojis here and in fact if we take a look at the emoji board here we now have the option to choose colors which is another new feature available in windows 10 mobile as well so that's a very quick look at the meshing app a very nice new app uh, very universal so if you don't know what universal means it means that the app has been built for windows 10 mobile and windows 10 desktop so if you've used a windows 10 device you'll probably notice that uh uh, the UIs on Windows 10 Mobile are very similar or identical to that found on Windows 10 desktops. And that's because these apps have been built with the same code. They are designed to scale between a big screen and small screen between desktop, tablet and phone. So for example, if we take a look at the new Outlook Mail app here, this app looks very similar to the app found on desktop. And if, and if I was to make this screen bigger, it would scale to, that, to what it looks like on a desktop, which is very nice indeed. Now whilst we're here in the Mail app, let's take a look at Mail anyway. This is the new Outlook Mail app replacing Mail and Calendar from the old Windows Phone 8.1. It's now Outlook Mail and Outlook Calendar. UI is very nice, you get a nice hamburger menu here. You can have multiple accounts of course, if we go into Manage Accounts here. You can see I can add new accounts and there are a number of options to choose from. Outlook, Exchange, Google, Yahoo Mail, iCloud, IBM Notes, Other Account and etc. You've also got uh, a few personalization options. So if you jump into Settings here, go to Personalization, you can change colors which is using that light like dark theme, etc, etc. Very, very nice indeed. So yes, this Outlook mail in a nutshell, we can also obviously send emails and using it is very nice indeed. So hello world, etc, etc, which is fantastic. And of course, let's take a look at Outlook calendar as well. Whilst we're here, where is it? Outlook calendar. Looking very similar to the desktop version again, you've got your month view and you can change your view here to whatever you want. So agenda, day, week and month. So let's go to... Let's take a look at the week view. There you go, there's your week view. Very, very nice indeed. Now let's also take a look at Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge is a new web browser in Windows 10 that replaces Internet Explorer. It's very similar, the UIs are very similar. So of course you've still got your tabs here, which is very nice. And we've also got a menu here, which allows you to jump between favorites, reading list, history and downloads. You can also click here and swipe between them like that. 
You've also got the option to turn on and off syncing, so you can sync your favourites and bookmarks between your Windows 10 desktop, tablet and PC, uh, and sorry, and phone, which is very nice. And of course, in advanced options here, we have a number of other options that you can adjust and change as well. Uh, Microsoft Edge is a very nice browser. It's very fast and very modern and is a very is a really nice improvement over the Internet Explorer web browser found in Windows Phone 8.1. So I'm pretty sure all of you will enjoy this very, very much. Let's also take a look at Cortana. Cortana has been given a big update in Windows 10 Mobile. She now has a brand new user interface, again, matching that of the Windows 10 desktop. Uh, if it, up here, we get a, no, a hamburger menu, which allows you to ac ac access the notebook. And in the notebook, we have a couple of new settings. So if we go here, there's a new option called Miss Call Notifications. And with Windows 10 being a universal platform, if I miss a phone call on my Windows 10 mobile device and I'm working on a Windows 10 desktop or tablet, Cortana will let me know that I actually missed that phone call and allow me to text straight from my desktop or tablet to that person who phoned me telling them that, telling them the reason I missed the phone call or something, which is very, very nice indeed. So here's Cortana. Cortana with her new user interface, she works just like you would expect, so if I ask her to tell us a joke, tell me a joke. Have you heard of the band named 1023 Megabytes? Of course not, they haven't made it to a gig yet. Wow. Well, Cortana, they just get worse and worse every time. But yes, that's pretty much Cortana. Her performance is pretty much the same. She still does the same things. She's got my alerts up here, so yellow, wind, whatever. But she's also now available in more countries as well, such as India and I believe Australia. So that's very nice indeed. Uh, what else does she do? She can also now read OneNotes, which is very nice, and do a couple of other cool things as well. Now, here is a notification, which was actually perfectly timed. I can swipe down on that notification, but if this was an SMS, I'd be able to actually reply to that text straight from wherever I am. So I don't have to jump straight into the messaging app. I can just reply to it here. So as you saw there, you just simply swipe down on it. And then of course, if this was an SMS or a text, the keyboard will come up and I'd be able to reply. But this is the Windows Feedback app, so let's just dismiss that. And it now appears in the Notification Center, which has been updated as well. So I can now swipe away individual notifications for one. And I can also expand the Action Center so I can have access to all of my actions at one time, which is very, very nice indeed. Of course, you can still customize these four down here via, via the Settings app, but that's not really new in Windows 10 Mobile. So we won't be taking a look at that. Now let's take a look at Windows Store. The Windows Store is now your one-stop shop for everything on your device. No longer is it just for apps, it's for apps, games, music and films. So as you can see down here, I have music here and I've got films here. So if we go into one of the music things, music albums, I guess. If you have a Groove Music Pass, you can listen with your Groove Music Pass just by tapping that and it will take you straight into Groove and begin playing that song. Now, if you're wondering what Groove is, it's Xbox Music just updated. Microsoft has rebranded Xbox Music. It's the same service, so if you had an Xbox Music subscription, you now have a Groove Music subscription. It's the same price, the same features, it's just you know, it's pretty much the same. Now, let's take a look at Groove Music itself. As you can see here, the UI has been updated dramatically. Of course, up here you get your album, artist, song, playlist views. So if we go to albums here, you get a nice look at albums, artists, which, oh, sorry, artists, which gives you a nice circular profile picture of all your artists on your phone. Then you've got songs, which is my favorite view as it's pretty simple and basic. And you've also got playlists, which you can create playlists as well as radio and explore. Now explore pretty much allows you to explore music from within the app without having to dive into the store app. So you just have all music content without being uh, interrupted by a game or a film, which is very nice indeed. Now let's take back, let's go back into the store as the store, we are not done with it. Let's jump at another app here. Let's take a look. There's an app called Penguin here. Let's take a look at Penguin. Of course, downloading an app, pretty simple. You press on the button here and it will begin to download. You've also got screenshots that you can look at, ratings and reviews. And of course, if there's a bad app, you can report it to, the, to Microsoft and they will deal with it. Up here, you get your downloads and updates. And as you see, I'm having some major problems trying to install these updates. Let's just delete them for now. But yes, you can also check for updates for here and all of your apps that are downloading will appear here, which is very nice indeed. You've got categories, so you've got home, apps, games, music, film and TV. Let's take a look at film and TV here. You can see Supernatural, which is a popular show among people. As you can see here, Supernatural, which is very nice. You can buy a series of £37. I'm not doing that. But yes, that's all pretty great and works like you would expect. Now, let's take a look at some more things. Let's take a look at the new Universal Office apps. Now, 
they're universal, meaning they scale to desktop size. So if you've, if you've used a Windows 10 desktop, you will probably see some familiarities with this app. I have an Office 365 subscription, Microsoft, please stop it. There we go. So this app, very similar to the universal Office apps on the desktop. They scale much like you would expect, but of course on, on a smaller screen, you get the UI down here. Whereas on a big screen, you get it up at the top. But these Office apps are dramatically better than those found on Windows Phone, uh, on Windows Phone 8.1. These apps are, you know, they're powerful now. I can actually edit a Word document or a PowerPoint presentation without feeling limited. It's very, very nice. So if you have my PowerPoint here, I bet it asks me to sign in. If it does, it does. God, my personal account. These apps keep forgetting that so I've already signed in, which is very, very annoying. Let's sign in here. It's getting things ready. Slowly but surely. Start using PowerPoint. Hooray! Yes, yes, yes. New, new, new. Blank presentation, please. So we're creating one. Double tap to edit. Now I can edit my PowerPoint much like I would expect to be able to edit a PowerPoint on a desktop. And of course, this saves to OneDrive, so it syncs across all of your devices as well, which is very, very nice indeed. So there are the Office apps in a nutshell. Let's take a look at the phone app, as this is a phone after all. As you can see, the phone app, very nice UI. But it also incorporates Skype calls, so now uh, as well as cellular calls. So if I'm if I receive a phone call from a cellular phone number, it will appear here. If I receive a phone call from a Skype account, it will also appear here and be treated much like a cellular call. So Skype is very much more integrated into the platform with Windows 10 Mobile, which is very very nice indeed. Now, as you can see here, there is a new recently added uh, menu up here, which uh, only appears when you just installed a new app. You can dismiss it by pressing X and it goes away. You can also jump between your apps list. So if I want to go to an app that begins with W, just press W here and it takes me all the way to the bottom, which is very nice. And uh, all of the apps have been uh, vastly improved uh, pretty much. So if you like, jump into alarms and clock, you can see this app has been improved. One of the apps, calculator, another app has, that has been vastly improved. Camera, which has uh, been given a big update. It also now supports slow motion, which uh, only for supported devices though. So you saw that it says slow motion for the 930 and 1520, I believe. And of course, newer Lumia devices. Uh, of course, we've also got a Get Started app, which if you're lost on Windows 10 Mobile, Microsoft has you covered with this app. It will teach you how to use Windows 10 Mobile, as well as everything that's new in the operating system, which is very, very nice. Of course, you've got an updated maps uh, app, news, OneDrive, people, photos, you know, they're all updated, all universal now, which is very nice indeed. I'm not going to dive into all of them as there's a lot to cover and we're just talking about the main features today. So I believe that's it. That's all the main features we needed to talk about. So there you have it guys, that's a quick look at Windows 10 Mobile. This update will be released for existing Windows Phone handsets very, very soon. It will be pre-installed on new Lumia handsets such as the 950 and 950 XL. So I believe people are already receiving their devices. They already have Windows 10 Mobile and are running it very happily, I imagine. Uh, and if you're Windows Insider, you should have the final bits very soon, if not already, which is also very, very nice. So thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.